Let's Ultrasound! On today's edition of General Ultrasound, we're diving into the Scanning Mistakes Gallery. On today's episode, Aorta, mistake number five. Mistake number five when imaging the aorta is pitfalls when measuring the abdominal aorta. First, let's talk about the sagittal plane. The green measurement is a correct measurement. This is an outer wall to outer wall AP or height measurement, which is a vertical measurement on the ultrasound image. The yellow measurement is an incorrect measurement. This is a measurement measured from on the wall of the aorta to the outer wall of the aorta. And this shortens the height of the aorta. The orange measurement is also incorrect. This is an inner wall to inner wall measurement, which also shortens the height of the aorta. The red measurement is also incorrect. Mistaking reverberation artifact or gas along the anterior wall of the aorta for the actual wall of the aorta, which also artifactually shortens the height of the aorta measurements. And the blue measurement is also incorrect. In this measurement, the calipers are not placed so that the measurement is 90 degrees perpendicular to the vessel walls. This will artifactually increase the size of the aorta height. Now let's talk transverse measurements. The green measurement is correct. This is an outer wall to outer wall width measurement, which is a horizontal measurement on the ultrasound image. The purple measurement is incorrect. This is measuring a second height measurement in which you have one height measurement conducted in the sagittal plane and another in the transverse plane. So it's essential when measuring the aorta to have one measurement in sagittal plane, which is the height, which is a vertical measurement, and the second measurement in the transverse plane, which is the width, which is a horizontal measurement. Continuing along with mistake number five, when imaging the aorta, and this is aorta measurement pitfalls. And specifically, it's important to talk about the common iliac arteries, since these often can be slightly oblong in shape rather than a true round shape, they can be more challenging to measure. You want to measure the longest lie of the common iliac arteries, and this is their longest length while you're keeping true to horizontal plane. And you wanna measure outer wall to outer wall. And it's better to extrapolate a wall and measure a slightly larger measurement than measure inner wall to inner wall because the wall is not visualized. This underestimates the aorta size. If the measurement starts to become too vertical in nature, then shorten the measurement slightly to ensure the measurement is in keeping with a horizontal plane. The green measurements at the top of this diagram are correct measurements. They are measuring the longest lie of the common iliac arteries while a horizontal plane is still being maintained. The orange measurement at the top of the diagram is incorrect. In this measurement, the longest lie of the common iliac artery is not being measured, which artifactually shortens the measurement. In the bottom diagram, the yellow measurement is an incorrect measurement. The wall is not visualized in this image, so the vessel is being measured inner wall to inner wall, which shortens the aorta measurement. In the bottom diagram, the red measurement is incorrect. This is when measuring the longest lie of the common iliac arteries has now become a vertical plane. This is closer to an AP measurement rather than a width measurement. In cases like this, when your common iliac arteries almost become a different plane, perform the blue measurement instead so that you are still in keeping with a true horizontal plane. 